This video is sponsored by Pouch. Hello. Right. Two things. Three things. One, I bought a roof rack. We picked it up off Facebook Marketplace last night for £80. Bear in mind when the alternative is these ones. 80 quid ain't bad. It doesn't look that great. But until I somehow sort out a better roof rack, this will do. This is how it clips on. They got these little feet and then you clamp it with them. It's missing one here. So I'm gonna try and fix that in a sec. Number two, I know in the last video I said I would get rid of the matte black and get rid of the Raptor and paint it gloss black. <sighs> I've decided to keep it. <laughs> Everyone told me it looks good and it doesn't look bad, but this is a purely functional thing. I have literally hit so many trees this weekend. We went green laning for the first time and I honestly hit like 4,000 trees. There's tons and tons of scratches on the gloss, but the Raptor, nothing. And then number three, the big reveal. These wheels are going. These are the 18s on 315s. They're huge, I don't like them. So here we go. We have new wheels. <laughs> so I've gone for 16s by eights. These are modular steels. And then I've gone for BF Goodrich. Um, all terrains, these are 285, 75, 16s. So these are the KO2s. They do like KMs, which are the mud tires, but considering I want a road trip in this, I'm gonna be on the road a lot more. These are much better for road use and they're still capable off-road. I think before we get started, I'm really curious to see if I can fab something up to fix that. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm missing one of these from here. Don't look too hard to make. I need to find out the thread pitch of that. So I've got this little thing, most likely gonna be a one or a one, two, five. So you got like that. That fits in there nice. So it's a one mil thread pitch. This is an M6 by one. So that thread's on there. So I know this is an M6 by one. So I'm gonna go raid my bolt box and find one. Decent. So I've got an M6 by one and that. So now I need to fab up some metal. This is my uh, practice welding Christmas tree I made. And that spot there looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna cut that off. This is what we have so far. We've got that and that. I'm gonna weld that on there. pre but it's on not straight either but whatever let's bend it and paint it all right on the left is the original and this is mine i'm actually uh pretty stoked on that I suppose we better test if it works. I need to bend this out and make them sit in there a little nicer and I'll probably put some rubber padding on, but I'm pretty happy with that. We now have all eight feet. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get the wheels on. By the way, I do have five. So I have four for the truck and then one for the spare wheel at the back. It's a bit on the piss. <laughs> I think I need to tighten one of my cables. Either way, wheels are off the floor. Let's get these big bastards off. Ugh. I'm very excited. Very excited. Everything's just massive. How are you? <laughs> How am I supposed to lift this? Blech. I have ordered black lug nuts, by the way. They just haven't arrived. That is gonna look sick. Ugh, bloody hell. In here, I think, apparently, in here is the fuel filter. 
So that is the diesel filler, fuel filler, whatever you want to call it. I might take this opportunity and go get some service bits and do a service. I don't know when this was last serviced um, and I always think it's a good idea. As soon as you buy something, service it because it's not that expensive. Um, so we're going to need oil, oil filter. These also have a centrifugal filter, which is like another oil filter that spins. Fuel filter and an air filter. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go on Euro. We're going to order all this stuff. And this is a perfect opportunity to show you how our sponsor works. So today's sponsor is Pouch. So Pouch is a free desktop browser extension that basically automatically searches the website you're on. When you're at the checkout, it will find you some discount codes if it's got any and apply them automatically. You don't have to do anything. It's free and it saves you money. So it's a no brainer. I'm gonna order all these service parts from Euro now. Give me two seconds, I'll add all my products to my basket and then we'll be with you. All right, I've added everything to my basket, as you can see. This is how pouch works. It'll pop up in the corner and it'll say try codes. You press that, it'll scan the website for discount codes and automatically apply the best one. Here, for example, it's just saved me 75 quid which is pretty banging. Pouch works with over 3,000 websites, including Euro, B&Q, and Halfords. All you gotta do is literally two clicks and then pin it to your browser and it is with you. If you wanna get it, there's a link in my description down there. Click on that or go to joinpouch.com slash I slash Bocker and get it for free. I'm gonna check out here. I'm gonna go pick the parts up. By the power of YouTube, I'm gonna magically have some parts right now. Oil, filters, 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 wipers, filters. All right, truck's up in the air. We're gonna do a real quick full service. First things first, we will drain the oil. Okay, oil's drained, so we're gonna do the fuel filter. That one there is the old, and this one here is the new one. New one in. Fuel filler, done. Ooh. Right, we'll lower it down, open the bonnet, and we'll start on the engine bay. This is a big engine bay. I'm not that tall, am I supposed to reach up here? I'm gonna bring a step ladder into this. We're gonna do the oil filter next, which is there. We've got the old one. We've got the new one. Put some oil around the seal and whack it in. Oil filler, done. All right, and now we've got this one, which is the centrifugal oil filler. That goes in this housing here. You can see it there, it spins. If someone knows how this works, I don't know anything about these. I've never seen this before, but it's pretty cool. So out the old, in with the new. Last thing, air filter. Clip, 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 clip. Oh baby, we've got old versus new. That is full service done. I'm using 5W40 and it takes 7.8 liters. We'll start that and check, but that should be all right. So there is a starting procedure. Once you've changed the fuel filler, you've got to turn the ignition on and pump the accelerator five times, and then it will go into like a cycle and the engine light will come on and flash. One, two, three, four. Five, engine lights on, pumps priming, sounds good. Beauty. Right, I guess we should uh, put these other two wheels on. All right, just real quick, we'll do the giveaway. This is the winner from the last video, and this video, I'm gonna give away one of these hats. You either get it in washed burgundy or black. They're nice, like, nice dad hat. I'm wearing one, to be fair. Mine's a bit dirty. They're just real nice. Real nice hats. So if you want to win one of these, all you got to do is drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Defender. Let me know what you think of the new wheels. Say hi. What did you have for dinner? I don't know. Comment down below, you'll win a hat, and I'll pick it next video. <laughs> nope. <laughs>
That's so heavy, aren't they? That's ridiculous. What's a bag of sand? 20, 20 kilos? 25 kilos a bag of POSIX. That's 50 kilo. Yeah, that's what I was reckoning. Everything's just bastard big, isn't it? <laughs> that's what I was saying. Don't want to just pull this off like it's a normal wheel. I'm used to 14s. Oh my God! <laughs> Stupid! Terra Firma Pro Sport Long Travel Shock. There you go. That's a nice little upgrade. You're going to wrap to line of the wheels, is that? Yeah, better add. Better add. Just and the tyres. Just a <laughs> polyfiller the um, tread and then wrap to liner them so it slicks. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a castle cube. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. That is actually going to look sick. <laughs> oh. Imagine working on these cars all the time. You must suck dick. So, first thing on the truck we're going to replace that I don't like. This. Thing. I don't even know what it is. Toilet brush holder. Toilet brush holder. <laughs> Snorkel it. Ah, I see. Set the blind man. That was there. Yeah, that'll look way better, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, drill proper holes into the actual. Yeah. Welcome to Andy's Landy's. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Andy's Landy's. Back again with a new snorkel. That goes there. <laughs> like that. <laughs> now we've got to put the template on there. Draw some holes there. Little screw to them. That'll screw in place with that on the end. There's a pipe in there that comes from the air. That goes straight to the air box. Yeah. What's the purpose of a snorkel if people didn't know? When you take it in the sea. And it goes up to your windscreen. Yeah. <laughs> so you can breathe. But when you go to like Egypt with your nan and that, and you go swimming and you've got to snorkel out of the water, you can breathe, but you're underwater. This is you. This is the snorkel. So in theory, I'm the landy. <laughs> I, 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 if I was swimming in the sea now, I'd be all right. You can try that in your bath at home before you go straight in the deep blue <laughs> So anyway, where were we? We got drill holes. The kit came with this, which is a template yeah. to drill some holes. But <laughs> I just wrote it. Yeah. 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 Well, then. Looks about right, doesn't it? So, put these little studs in here. And they go into the holes that we drilled. Oh yeah, that's him. Oh yeah. Snorkel done. Snorkel. We've got a bracket there, which is riveted. So that's solid. Unfortunately, a silver jubilee clip, which I might paint. Um, all the pipe works done under there. All tight. And oh, that's all tight. Combo of the wheels and a snorkel. Very good. What more OEM? Have it. Another job. Andy's going on a date. Well, I'm going to do some shit to this. <laughs> on a date with my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that's mine. Should do it on my foreskin. <laughs> right, sound. Sound, bro. Sound up. All right, we got more boxes. I've kind of changed my mind on this already. On this part, but I'm going to fit it and see what it looks like. This is the stock Defender bumper. Currently I have a bumper that has a winch hole in it, which means I'm gonna take the winch off. I have actually changed my mind because I do wanna keep running a winch, but I'm gonna put it back to standard for now and just see what it looks like. I'm probably gonna get a different winch. That'll be further on down the line. So for now, I'm gonna fit this up and see what it looks like. Just wanna go back to like OEM looking. With that being said, we've got this bumper and then Slatted stock grill. I just reckon it looks a bit cleaner. Well, I don't know yet, I haven't fitted it, but yeah, it could look very cool. So, chill out. We are gonna take the grill off, take the bumper off, take the winch off, and put those two things on and see, see what happens. The reason I don't really like this grill is it looks quite like Range Rover-y. It is modern and it's nice, but it just reminds me of a Range Rover.
Okay, they are big bolts. Yep, very heavy. Woo! <sighs> that was scary. Yay. It actually looks kind of badass like this. I also found out the reason why it's got such a gnarly horn. Look at them bad boys. Might as well just clean this up a little. Jack's here. Stoke, see what this looks like. Okay, yeah, that looks mint. That looks ten times better, I reckon. I love this thing. It's sick, isn't it? Oh yeah, for people asking, um, it is actually mapped. The TD5 is already mapped. All right, I don't currently have a number plate, so I'm gonna make one real quick. I am very happy with that. It's starting to look good. We've done snorkel, grill, bumper, full service, new wheels. I feel like that's pretty good success. Leave a comment down below and you will win one of these hats. Shout out to Patrick Swanson in this video. There is a link down there. Click on that and you will get it for free. And we have a BMX Jam tomorrow, Saturday. Pitville Skate Park in Cheltenham. This is the postcode. If you want to come ride BMX, we've got the BQR stand there. We've got mics, music, food, BMX. It's going to be sick. So if you're free tomorrow and you're local, come down. It'll be fun. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.